Hey you guys, it's Dash from Bloom Where You're Planning. Um, this morning I'm out here for my small step and just struggling, even this morning I was just struggling to get out in the garden. And when I'm struggling to get out in the garden, you know something's wrong. I just, this is just, as I said the other day, it's just a lean time for us. Um, so when I come to this place, I know that I need garden therapy. <laughs> I'm still trying to repair some of the beds. I definitely found it harder to do than I thought it would be. I heard from another gardener that you could just tap the rotted wood off and then place the other bed on top of it because it stayed kind of compacted and square that way. But I really didn't. Uh, I guess. Well, I guess my beds had pressed up against the wood and the wood had kind of warped, so it kind of it came out a lot. So when I took the wood off, it, it was too wide for the new bed. So I couldn't just put the new board or the bed on top of it. So that was kind of a bummer, a, a little bit more work than I thought, and they didn't last as long as I had hoped. I didn't think I would be doing this in the first three years. So if you have any ideas, uh, without using you know chemicals to get a bed a raised bed to last a little bit longer um, And without you know the expensive cedar then let me know in uh, The comments if you have any ideas for that. So for right now Replacing raised beds still working to revitalize the garden before winter So this is what I've gotten done so far Just a hot mess right now, I'm afraid Oh, but I forgot to tell you guys. Um, I found a lot, there was a lot of earthworms, a lot of life in the soil, and there was even a little toad, a little baby toad, so that's a good sign. I have a toad abode, kind of a toad area in the corner of my garden that I try to keep really moist. It has a little pool in it. Um, so I try to attract the toads because they eat a lot of the insects. They're really beneficial for the garden. So that's a good sign, so you know, even though this morning I started out discouraged. That's what I mean by garden therapy. I see little glimpses of, of hope and that I'm going in the right direction. And you know, the food is sprouting. My plants are sprouting, so about 40 days to food. So uh, yeah, that seems like a long time right now. But um, yeah, but anyway, hope in the garden. There's always hope and, and that's what that's what I mean by garden therapy. I meet with my father and I find glimpses of hope. The other small step I need to do this morning is I need to cut down this sunflower behind me. It fell over and it's kind of blocking the pathway. I think it's done. So I need to get this bugger down. So we'll see how that goes. Sometimes their roots can be really deep. So I'm gonna get this. First, I'm gonna get gloves. Right, I've got my gloves. Let's see who's stronger. Me the sunflower. <laughs> I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. the sunflower. This is the first sunflower I've ever let grow in one of my beds because it was just right in the middle up against the support. So I thought, yeah, it might add a little bit of support. But I'm going to rethink that. I mean, it's okay if they grow like on the edges of the garden, but in the bed, I don't think so anymore because I ruined two bean sprouts while I was digging this out. So I got to go get a couple more bean seeds and sink them back in, but I'll do that. Well, look on the bright side. I think I'm going to have a sunflower bouquet for indoors today.
except for right here. I'm gonna have to get this earth off of here, I think, to make it sit evenly. All right, here it goes. And then one more raised bed, revitalized. Excellent. All right, one more bed rebuilt. Thank you, thank you, wild one. Thank you for helping me with this. Somebody asked me, why do you call him the wild one? Well, he like did his history in like the middle of the oak tree. <laughs> he built a platform up there and oh, his math. He did his math like up in the tree every day in homeschool. He set fire to his pencil during history. He's just, he just is an out of the box thinker, an off roader. He's amazing. He's a drummer. He's ambitious. He's brave. He's a little bit crazy and I love him and that's why I call him the wild one. All right, so one more bed revitalized. I'm so excited to get this garden in really good shape coming into the winter and the fall where we're gonna have a bounty of food, hopefully. All right, bye you guys. If you wanna join me on my other little small steps each morning, then please subscribe and then give me a thumbs up if you would. That really encourages me to keep going with these videos.